doing your thing, you're face to face with God. What? What are you saying? What is what is what is the structure of that? I think I have an idea of of your teaching of of of, of praying the the Lord's prayer. Exactly. That's that, the structure. Is that the constant structure? That's the structure. There are three parts to it. The first part is worship. Mm -hmm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So Jesus taught his disciples to pray that prayer. I know there are many who pray the Lord's Prayer uh, as a recitation. But really, it's best prayed as an outline. Okay. The first part of the outline is worship, uh, where we are taught by Jesus to worship the Father around his names. Hallowed be thy name. Yeah. But there is no one name that yeah. describes all of who God is. Right. In fact, there are nine compound covenant names for God. He's Yahweh Jireh. He's my provider. He is, let me just, uh, the word Yahweh or the name Yahweh. Uh, some would say that the name Jehovah, uh, which is a combination of Yahweh and Adonai. But Jireh means he's my provider. Mm -hmm. um, he's, so he's Yahweh or Jehovah Jireh. He is Yahweh Sid Kandu, he's my righteousness. He is M Kadeshem, he's my sanctifier. He is Shalom, he's my peace. Mm -hmm. He is Shama, he is a very present help in the time of trouble. Yeah. He is um, Nisi, he's my banner. He is um, Rohi, my shepherd. He is Rafa, my healer. He is Sabaoth, my captain. So you've got those nine compound covenant names for God. And, and of course there's El Shaddai and other names, but those nine compound names that have Hebrew words of meaning behind them, of course, all of the other names uh, are Hebrew words with meaning behind them. But these non-compound covenant names, nine compound covenant names, are the ones that I use to follow the words of the psalmist. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Come mm. into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So to spend time Worshiping God, not asking for anything, but simply thanking and praising him for who he is in me. He's my provider. He's my righteousness. I have right standing because of my relationship with him. He's my sanctifier. He has set me apart by the power of his spirit. He's my shalom. He's my peace. He's my shama. He's a, he's a present help in trouble. He is my nisi, my banner. Uh, his banner of victory waves over me. Mm -hmm. He's my he's my rohi, my shepherd. Uh, the song poet said, "Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you will lead, I will follow. Mm -hmm. I've made the choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you will lead." I will go. Ooh. He's my Rafa. He's my healer. He's, he's, he is the one that delivers me from sickness, disease, and infirmity. He's the one that keeps this body whole and well so that I can do the work that he's called for me to do. He's my healer. He's my deliverer, the lifter of my head. He is my um, Sabaoth. He's my captain. He is the one that uh, determines the kind of life I am to have from day to day. And as a captain, <laughs> hey man, listen, 
He, he fights my battles. That's loaded. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, way more than just reciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's just, that's just a worship. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, you can, you can spend, if you take the time to worship God around each one of those nine compound covenant names for God, you could be worshiping for 30 to 60 minutes. But of course, I'm, I'll mm. probably cut it short for there there was times that I have a limited amount of time. So I will pray uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes in worship and then go to the next part of the prayer. So it begins with our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And then the second part of the prayer is I want your kingdom to come. I want your will to be done in earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Now that, that part of the prayer is an introduction to praying three things. All right? Mm -hmm. The first one is give us this day our daily bread. So I'm praying that my needs will be met. Number two, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So I'm praying that my relationships will be secure. Hmm. Whether it's with a son or a daughter or a brother or a sister or a friend or a co-worker. Yeah. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. I want to walk in forgiveness. So I want to reap what I sow. Hmm. If I sow forgiveness and love and compassion, I'm hoping to reap the same. And then the last of the three is, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So the first one is that I want my needs to be met. Number two, I want my relationships to be secure. Number three, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I want my destiny to be achieved. I feel like it's all in there. <laughs> it's yeah. all in the Lord's prayer. Yeah, it is. It is. And so when I pray for people that are in my life, I pray for them in those three areas. Mm -hmm. I don't always mention all three. I may pray for someone with the first area and someone else with the second one of the three. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that is the kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you end up uh, for it's your kingdom and your power and your glory, that will be the response to whatever is achieved. That Nine is the kingdom. It's God's kingdom I'm praying for. It's by his power, whatever I'm praying for will be achieved. And when it is achieved, he'll get the glory for it.